After considering the evidence for 11 hours, the judges returned to court. And for Amanda Knox and her former lover, the verdict was devastating. The judges believed that they had indeed been involved in the sexual assault and murder of Meredith Kircher. She was only 21 when she was killed, a student whose life ought to have stretched out before her, full of promise. Miss Kircher's sister talked of her feelings just before the verdict. Ultimately, all we, all we do want is justice for Meredith, but nothing's going to bring her back. Soon after the murder, Knox and Selecito were accused of being involved in forcing Miss Kircher into a sex game that ended in the killing. Knox couldn't be compelled to attend the hearing in Italy. She stayed here, at home in America, protesting her innocence. Now there may eventually be an attempt to extradite her. Knox's Italian co-accused was in court, and he's now facing more than 20 years in jail. His lawyer reacted angrily to the judge's decision. Whatever motivation they write, we won't be able to overcome the fact that there is missing evidence. This is a trial without evidence. But even now, this extraordinary case is not over. There's another phase yet to come. It'll be taken back one more time to Italy's Supreme Court. So still, there will be legal wrangling over exactly what happened in this house, the scene of the murder of Meredith Kircher. Alan Johnston, BBC News, in Florence.